Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. You're watching Angela in Resale Land. I am Angela. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome and thanks for finding me. And if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. I have been a reseller for over five years. I also right now I'm teaching my homeschooling my child <laughs> yeah, along with a bunch of other things that we're all doing, right? Anyway, well, welcome to What's Moving Monday, where I talk about the items that I have sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I actually have sold one item on Poshmark and 16, 15 to 16 items on eBay. Now, I'll preface this by saying January has been crazy for me. I've taken a bunch of <laughs> um, breaks as far as listing goes because I have so much going on with family stuff. So I haven't been listening, but what I have been doing every day is going in and editing the items that are um, going to be coming off the soonest and changing the prices. I haven't listed a, a thing yet and I'm still making like five sales a day. I'm blown away. I thought, you know, but I am consistently like being active in my store. So being active in listing. Now I know they would be way higher if I was listing. So but I just wanted to share that with you because I think we all are trying to figure out that eBay algorithm. So any information we can give each other, right? <laughs> I have my coffee. And I just wanted a quick shout out to my brother and Heather. Thank you so much for the ring light. I'm using it in this video. This is the first time I'm using the ring light. So if you see light better, it's because of them. So thank you so much. I love it. Also got my water, my New Year's resolution. Well, I don't know if I make resolutions, but I'm trying to better myself with drinking more water. So I got my water, got my coffee. So I hope you grab a cup of coffee, matcha, tea, whatever you want, and come join me and see what I sold. Let's get into this. Before I do start with the selling haul, I did want to do a follow up to the um, post office when you can um, do a free pickup. Also, a lot of people don't know this. You can ask for these postal bins. They're free and you just make sure you use them just for the priority or um, not just for priority, but just for your um, post office stuff and you can get those for free and they'll bring them to your door too. So I just wanted to show you these bins. And this is what I use when I put out the, um, when I do my um, free pickups, I put all of the packages in these bins and they take them and bring me new ones. So I just wanted to share that in case you don't know. Pro tip. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna give you a bunch of stats today because I thought I've been printing out the reports. So I pulled the report from January 21st, which was Friday until Sunday, the 23rd. So I made sales, now this is growth. Um, this is including taxes. So I made three, I grossed $321 and 74 cents. That's the amount I sold. Um, I'm down 15.6% from the prior period. Shocker. Um, $19.14 was collected by eBay for taxes. My selling costs were $56.95. My net sales, so this doesn't count the cost of goods. Now my cost of goods were super low. I didn't count them this week, but they were under like $25. And so my net sales was $245.65. And that's for three days and I, I'm just shipping. I didn't do any other work. I didn't list new items. So I will take that. Um, and that's <clears throat> at least my minimum. I like to make at least 50, profit $50 a day with no work other than just shipping these out. And I had already done the work listing them. I will take that just for three days. So I sold 17 items. So that's up 6.2%. An average sale price was $18.93. I'm down 20.6%, but I will take it. And it also tells you the categories. I think when I, ta I did a video, if you haven't seen it, go look for the video. I have to learn how to link things because it'll make things easier for you guys. I'm still learning all this e eBay stuff, but I'm going to get better at it. I'm working on my thumbnails. I'm working on everything. So that's one of the things I want to work on is figuring out how to link stuff for you. But I did do a video talking about growing your business using categories and the stats. <clears throat> so just to... Um, Right now, my best one was Home and Gardens, Curtains and Drapes. I made $62.02. Health and Beauty was the next one. I made $33.55. And my next best category um, was Drinks for $24.99. Oh, yeah, because I sold something from, um, from Bulk Lots. I sold a syrup. Anyway, so those are just some little fun stats. So feel free to make sure you like, if you're not utilizing these reports on eBay, 
make sure to do that. Okay, so and it gives you graphs and everything. Yes. Okay. Let's get started with the items. Okay, I forgot to pull one thing. Actually, I forgot to pull two things. Let's start with Poshmark. I made a sale. It was a silk Banana Republic extra small blouse. I'm so sorry I forgot to pull it. I will insert a picture of it here. Ding. Um, that sold for $8 and they take $2.95. So I made, what was it, $6.05 profit. And I think I bought it for a dollar. Um, extra small. This is again when I was learning to buy clothes. And I saw silk and I got all excited, but I didn't realize that extra small is extra hard. <laughs> the only sound made it. I didn't make any on Makoshmark. Makoshmark? Makoshmark. Makari Poshmark. Makoshmark. Okay. I didn't make anything on Makari. It was a big glue egg. I did my one sale on Poshmark. Okay, here's my 17 sales on eBay. I forgot to take a picture. Uh, or not take a picture. I forgot to bring these tan curtains that I sold. I sold two of them. So they were $62.02. Taxes were $4.06. Selling cost was $7.56. So my net was $5.40. And those were donated to me by my mom. So that profit was all mine at the $50.40. I will insert a picture here. Ding. Next up is Cat and Jack 12, size 12 girls pants. These sold for $11.76, 77 were taxes, $1.68 in selling costs. So my total was $9.31. And I bought these at the Goodwill on a $1.79 day. So brand new with tags. So someone's getting a great deal. Brand new pants. I'll just toss them on the floor. I love doing clothes though because you can just ship them in poly mailers. Um, okay, next up was this necklace set. I have everything here in a pile. Okay, this necklace set, it's two piece. It's a necklace and a bracelet. Really pretty. It's vintage. Um, I don't remember where I got these. I think I bought them. But really pretty two-piece set sold for $15.99 zero tax and this is including shipping and everything and they lumped it together so $15.99 total um two dollars and 17 cents for the cost of goods it didn't say any tax and fees on that which is weird so my total was $13.82 and I think I bought this for like a dollar at a garage sale or something somewhere so $12.82 I'll take it Next up, we have, I want to say Legend of Zelda, but it's just a Zelda um, jacket. And it has shoulder pads. I bought this at $1.79 day because it was $1.79. This is when I was first learning. And I've had this for like two years. I um, was trying to blow it out. Did blow it out. So it sold for $17.27, $1.28 for taxes and fees, or taxes, uh, $2.32 for selling costs, and $13.67, and then minus my, like, $2, basically, for Goodwill cost of goods, so 11 something so I'm just happy to have it gone. It is really pretty, so I hope somebody enjoys it. Next, um, I will insert a picture. This is a, this one just sold like recently so I didn't get a chance to pull it it's a department 56 um first deposit the snow village little accessory so that sold with shipping for $12.99 it was 99 cents for taxes $1.90 selling costs so $10.10 and that cost me zero dollars because it was donated by my brother's wife Heather and her family so girl you got some money okay Next up, we have a Crayola, 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 TJ Maxx colored sticker book, brand new. This was donated by my mom. I got a couple of these when my son was born, when he liked PJ Maxx, and he didn't open this one. So this sold for $7.50 with 
free shipping and shipping will be about $3.19. Let's see. So 50 cents went to taxes, $1.24 went to fees. So it was $6.26 and then minus the $3.19 to ship. And it was free from my mom and dad. So thank you, God. Thank you, mom. Okay. Uh, next up, this came from Catch and Deals. And I love Catch and Deals, and I've been trying to find Catch and Deals, but their supply are having issues. So I've already made my money back. I've almost doubled my money, I think, on Catch and Deals a lot. I only bought the one. It was $85 with included shipping, and I've already made my money, and then some. I think almost doubled my money already, and I still have a bunch of items left. So this sold, this is Sinus Air. I'm starting to really like to sell beauty, pro beauty and health products. It's weird. I didn't think I'd like that because expiration dates, but hey, I like them. They're small and easy to ship too. Um, where was I in this? I see this list. It shows you everything. It's awesome. I remember when I used, if you used to watch my first earlier hauls, I used to print stuff out or put post-it notes and it was a disaster. So much better. See, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, back to this. This sold for $13.20 with shipping. 95 cents went to taxes, $1.84 for eBay fees, um, 10, so it was 10.41, and then I spent it, it was about $1.70 per item, so, awesome, I will take that, minus about, probably it'll be about five bucks to ship, okay, next, Drunk Elephant, this also came, so I sold three things from Catch and Deals this time around, Excuse me, this was another, um, I sold one of these already, this is my last one. So, you're not seeing double, this is the Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. I sold the other one for $30.99. $30 I sold this one for $33.55, taxes were $2.56, uh, eBay fees were $4.23, so my profit was $26.76, and then shipping will be about $3.99. And you just saw Nene. Yeah, you want me to help? You want to sit down for a minute? Sure. Okay. He's he's got a little stuffy nose, so we're taking a little break from school. So I thought while he was recuperating and sleeping, I would do this video, and here he is. <laughs> okay. Let's do the. This is for Hyperbiotic Pre Pro Advanced Strength Premium Prebiotics. That's a mouthful. So these were for catch and deals. So I put there four of them, they're the same thing. So it was a lot of four. I sold these for $21.34, $1.35 in taxes, $2.80 in eBay fees, $17.19, and then it'll be about $5.25 to ship. So 12 bucks, I'll take it. And they were $1.70 each, but I allotted them, you know, because they when you divide out the 50 items that come in your catch and deal, so it's came to $1.70 per item. So, but I'm happy to move them. They have an expiration date, so I don't want them to be expired. So I hope someone enjoys those. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, hello, you wanna hold something? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can hold my thing here. Okay, we're, we're shifting around here. All right, we're going to do this aqua waterproof um, iPhone case, AV03, okay? <laughs> this case sold for, this one sold for $13.43. 44 goes to tax, 44 cents goes to taxes, $1.87 in eBay fees, making this $11.12, and I got this for free from my mom. Ta-da! Okay, you can put that down there gently, and next item. I feel like the price is up. Price is up. Price is up. That should be a game show. I feel like the price is right. And next up, we have... Okay, I'm silly today. This is the... It you came from bulk, see. so this was about $2.21. So that's what my average cost Ooh. is from bulk for. Here you go, bud. You can hold this. This is an Ogie. Stainless steel spring action salt and pepper shaker set of two. Sold for $21.50. $1.50 in taxes, $2.82 in eBay fees, making this $17.18. <laughs> All right, we have. Oh, so Valentine's Day, I did a I did it a video on the Valentine's Day stuff. This little bear, this is vintage from my husband's house and his childhood. 
We sold it for, it was 12 inch vintage Fairview red teddy bear, stuffed animal plushie. $10.53. Yeah, if you can see, he has a heart nose. Yes, he has a heart nose. He sold for 50, so 53 cents went to taxes, $1.80, excuse me, $1.63 went to eBay fees, so $8.37, and he'll probably be about three nineteen dollars ship. Okay, next up, Threshold Quality and Design Ultra Soft Flat Sheet Size Queen. Black. Brand new. This is also in the bulk lot. No, no, no. That makes noise. Okay. No, no, no. So here, hold this. There we go. Uh, that, so, so that cost me $2.21 with cost of goods because it was in my bulk lot. And... This sold for $22.77, $1.78 taxes, $2.96 in eBay fees, making it $18.03. This is heavy as a brick. I know. That's going to go, that's going to be $8.45 to ship out oh, in a priority um, padded flat mailer. Okay, next up. Oh, okay, I sold a Halloween. I actually sold. I actually sold two Halloween costumes. I don't know. One of them was, hasn't been paid yet, but it was. A, I think it's because it's going to be March soon. One of them was a um, leprechaun, big green outfit, um, but they hadn't paid for that yet, so I didn't count that in the totals. This sold. This was. A, this is a Black Panther costume, and I bought this after the holidays at the Goodwill. So when things are like, you know, like forty percent or. 60% off. Ow. That picks up on the, on this. Oh, I tripped, please. Oh, I tripped. Okay, okay, but that picks up on here. So anyway, I picked this up when, after Halloween. It was brand new tags. Boy size 3 to 4T, sold for $22.76. $1.78 goes to taxes. Three eleven goes to eBay fees. And seventeen eighty seven comes to me, but then I've got to ship, so that'll probably be about five ninety eight to ship. Okay, where are we? Burt Bees washcloths, kid set of three. You're down to the last two items. Um, this came in a bulk, so this is two twenty one. Little tiny washcloths, so cute. I sold this for nine sixty four sixty five cents for taxes a dollar 52 ebay fee so 7.47 and last but not least these vintage um vintage cake decorating sold for nine dollars plus 5.99 shipping and um the page cut off so i'm not sure about the rest of it but hey i'll take it and then the last one which i don't have which i'll insert a picture here Ding. What is the soda stream? I sold from bulk. It was $2.21 more of my cost of goods. I sold the soda stream bubbly drops that are blackberry. Woo. Um Bye. unsweetened lot of three for $24.99. Didn't cost me anything in taxes. $3.22 for eBay fees. So $21.77 and then whatever it costs to ship out. Oh, okay, so that is my haul, and then I gotta ship out <laughs> my haul for shipping out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to chat about anything recently, leave them in the comments below. And I hope everyone checks everybody's out comments out too and comments because um, it's been a nice little community of people. I just did a video on burnout and not even just reseller just burnout in general and being tired and stress and anxiety and all that stuff and i got some really great comments so feel free to check everybody's comments out and comment to each other too um it's really great when you have people that kind of know where you're coming from and understand each other i met some really nice people on youtube even just with my 30 subscribers so anyway i'm gonna get this one he's up now so I'm he not. must be feeling better. So I'm going to I'm do some teaching. Not. Oh, now you're not. Mm. Yeah, I think you way. are. Well, I'm going to go rally and get this one uh, ready for school then. <laughs> Mama school. Everything's beeping. Anyway, I hope you're having a great morning, noon, or night, whenever you're watching this. I didn't even sip my coffee. Mmm. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, or night whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you in the next video. I'm trying to put one video out a day in January. I missed Sunday. I missed two days so far. Oh.
Oh well, what are you gonna do? But I will see you tomorrow in the next video. I'm not, I think I'm gonna show you my shoe, the shoes I'm gonna be send, I was gonna send to flip, but I decided just, it said to resend. So I'm gonna try to resend the 22 items. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna give flip up for a while. And um, the shoes that I was gonna add to that lot, I'm actually gonna put on Poshmark. So I will be back tomorrow with the shoe haul. Bye.